We don't lose sight of the fact that there are 85,000 American troops in Afghanistan. So we noticed today when one of the men responsible for getting the troops home retired from his position as U.S. ambassador. Ryan Crocker was congratulated by President Obama today and by leading Republicans. We had questions for Crocker about America's progress in winding down the war. But first, let us tell you a little bit about him. We last saw Crocker in Afghanistan in 2011. You've been ambassador in what countries? Well, I started in Lebanon, then uh, Kuwait, Syria, uh, Pakistan, Iraq, and now Afghanistan, so it's six times. You sure know how to pick them. <laughs> he was a junior officer in Beirut back in 1983 when he was caught in the first major bombing of a U.S. embassy by Islamic terrorists. He was ambassador to Iraq, where he helped turn that war around, and he retired in 2009. But then President Obama asked him to take on Afghanistan two years later. Ambassador Crocker is joining us from the State Department. Ambassador Crocker, one of your goals was to get the enemy to the negotiating table. That really hasn't happened, and I wonder why the Taliban aren't talking. Scott, bear in mind that uh while we definitely want to see uh, a negotiated uh, settlement, that's how insurgencies end, uh, it's uh, not our negotiating table where we want to see the Taliban. It is the uh, Afghan negotiating table. What you're not going to get, uh, Scott, in my estimation, is some kind of grand bargain where the uh, entirety of the Taliban uh, come to terms with the Afghan government. Uh, it's going to be chipping away, breaking them apart, breaking them loose, defections uh, and a general degradation, uh, I think, of the Taliban through political as well as military means. That sounds like a long slog. How does that square with the idea of getting all U.S. troops out of there by 2014? Uh, as Secretary Clinton has said, uh, uh, we can fight and talk at the same time, uh, and so can the Afghans. It's uh, great if large numbers of the Taliban decide that they'd uh, rather rejoin the new Afghanistan than uh, uh, die trying to overturn it because those are really their options. But uh, the Afghan state can prevail increasingly in the lead as we draw down troops, uh, whether or not uh, these guys reconcile. Ambassador Crocker, thank you very much. Thank you, Scott. The Afghans are supposed to take over their own security in 2014, but Ambassador Crocker told us today there may still be a reduced U.S. presence there beyond that date.